are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Boston Red Sox and the Baltimore Orioles. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. John Means is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, I think the key for him is going to be locating strikes and forcing soft contact. He doesn't have dominant stuff compared to some other guys, but if he executes, he can still be very effective. We'll see how he does. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley, having a very Leading nice year, currently Brantley. second in the, the American left. League in batting Michael average entering play. Brantley. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Yeah, Maddie, the first game of any series is super important. You have a chance to set the tone, whether it's three game set or a four game set. You take the first one, you put that other team on their heels. And that's in there, base hit. That is second. The right fielder, number 99, Alex Verdugo. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo as he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. Against left handed pitching so far this season, Verdugo carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. Now the 1 0. Popped him up. Ruiz over to his right. One away. Batting third, the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball, well, that's inside. One oh home is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. When hitters are able to lay off curveballs and get themselves into good counts because of it, you're in pretty big trouble as a pitcher. A lot of guys rely on their opponents offering at that pitch, even when it's not in a good location to hit. Three and oh to him now. Three and one to Martinez. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. The three one is taken for strike two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Brantley, base runner at first with one out. Line drive to center field. Hayes is there, two gone. Batting four, the shortstop, Xander Bogart. Digging in now, Xander Bogarts. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the belt, the pitch starts him out with a slider for a strike. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Made him look silly with that one. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Fouled off. Wow. 
swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. One left for the Red Sox. Sox nothing. O's coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Anibal Sanchez gets the ball for the Red Sox in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you can tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. Digging in, Jose Iglesias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Pitch on the way. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, five and two over their last seven. Yeah, guys, dropping yesterday was a heartbreaker without question. But you know what? You find a way. You show up to the yard today, you get out of the cab, and you watch countless hours of video, and you try and formulate a game plan to get this back to 500. One and one to start the road trip, and you're moving in the right direction. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. At the plate, Dwight Smith Jr., and he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And it's fouled away. Now the 0 1. One out, nobody on. Bounce towards the mound. A bare hand play by Bogarts. Hats off to that one. So here's Trey Mancini. He's currently ninth in the American League batting race entering play. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A ball and no strikes. Two out, nobody on. Line hard to the left side, but foul. Again, another foul ball. Sanchez is ready. Here's the one two. Chopped toward the second baseman. Scooped up. Throw over to Aguilar at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Into the box, Rafael Devers. And he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. First pitch of the at bat. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. One and one the count. Now here's the pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Grounded back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. The pitcher got the result he was looking for. Change up down in the zone, gets him to hit it on the ground, but obviously the result wasn't what he wanted. Into the box now, Jesus Aguilar. And he comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games.
becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. Nobody out, runner on first. A little low, it's two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. And he fouls this one off. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. In now, Kevin Pillar. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. The 0 and 1 delivery. Hit hard back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. A lot of traffic hitting a base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. Standing in now, Christian Vasquez. No balls in one strike. No score here as we play inning number two. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Hey, I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with. He's got focus, he's commanding the fastball, really being aggressive right now. A lot different than his last start, where he took a loss and seemed timid and scared to attack the zone. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Smith is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. So here's Michael Chavis now. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. First pitch of the at bat. Fastball in there for a called strike. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. In there, and it's 0 2 now. Two men are on with two men out. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. He set the 2-2. Outside and a full count, 3-2. and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to work the count back to 3-2. and two. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Ready with the payoff pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Hayes will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Boston strands a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score.
Striding forward now is the DH, Anthony Santander. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Curveball is nowhere close, and it's 1 0. Check swing, no swing, says the home putt umpire. Ball two. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. Rio Ruiz waits on deck. The three and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. And he takes ball four. Lead off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Standing in, Rio Ruiz. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the belt, kicks and deals. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. A runner at first with no outs here. A ball and a strike. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Sanchez uses a split finger fastball as one of his weapons of choice in the arsenal. He can really be very deceptive when that pitch is working. And I'd imagine as a hitter, it's always in the back of your mind. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. The 2-2. Two -two. Is laid off and the count runs full. Nobody out, runner on first. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Austin Hayes the next to bat. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. He's set and the pitch. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that splitter again. He's looking for a double play and that pitch certainly has enough depth on it to get him a ground ball. Hit high and deep to left field. Brantley going back to the track but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall and this one will bounce into the wall and this will not be close and the run will score easily boy that has to feel good as a hitter do you get that base hit to give your team the lead you have to feel good when you get down to first base yeah it's just a nice approach you see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout 100 percent not trying to do too much able to quiet the moment down center himself and come through in a big spot In now, Pat Valaika. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. First pitch on its way. Off the plate, ball one. First and second here with nobody out.
swing and a miss for strike one. High in the air out to center field. Pilar's there. He makes the catch and tagging is the runner from second. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Ready now for Baltimore. Pedro Severino. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fouled away. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Severino is below the Mendoza line. The batting average under 200, unfortunately. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. Chris Davis at the plate now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Davis who's often called Crush Davis. He was a fifth round pick during the first year player draft of 2006. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Orioles out to an early one nothing lead here in inning number two. And the splitter's in there as he gets ahead here, one and two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. One and two. Here it is. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Two and two. Here it is. Runners on first and third, two away. He struck him out. In and out of trouble as the inning is over. Orioles settle for one. We play two full. Baltimore's out in front, one to nothing. Riding in once again, Michael Brantley. He reached on a single in his first try. Michael Brantley. Now here's the pitch. Third inning starts with a slider that's looked at here for bowl one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hayes is right there. One gone. Digging in for his second at bat, Alex Verdugo. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That swung on and missed, we're even at one and one. Liner toward right center. Hayes is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Up next for the Red Sox, the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. Digging in to try it again, J.D. Martinez. And if you didn't know, he was recently awarded the American League Player of the Month award. First delivery to him on the way. Eight. 
and he takes this one high, one and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Bases are empty here with two men out. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Hits this one hard the other way. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. Boy, after that base knock right there, D-Row, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tucked, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Xander Bogarts is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. From the belt, kicks and deals. A runner on first with two away. To short. Iglesias is up with it. Crow on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Red Sox leave one. It remains one nothing. Welcome back as the Orioles look to get the offense going here in the third. This is a lineup that has had its struggles this season. At the start of the day, they find themselves as one of the worst teams in the league in hitting the long ball and scoring runs. I talked to one player before the game that told me he thinks things have sort of snowballed on them this year. They didn't get off to a good start, and since then, most everyone has simply been searching for answers and trying to do too much. He admitted it's been a frustrating year, but they have to keep pushing forward and looking for better ways to generate offense. Back to you guys. All right, Heidi, thank you. Jose Iglesias is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning, 1-0. and And the pitch. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. The bouncer to the left side. And there's one down now. So with one away, we'll give you a look at the current standings. And you can see they lead the division by the narrowest of margins, just a half game. Striding into the box, Dwight Smith Jr., 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here comes the first pitch. Strike taken up in the zone. Bases are empty, one man out. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. And wow, that got out onto Utah Street. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now, as the Orioles are now out to a 2 0 lead. Big swing right there. Give himself a little bit of breathing room, let his pitcher go to work. Now they're up two. Here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 now. One out, nobody on. High in the air out to center field. Pilar's there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. now bat, the Anthony Devin Santander, the next Anthony. to bat. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and missed. Oh, 
now, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. Fouled off. The next 0 2. And it's fouled away. Lifted the other way to left center. Brantley is under it. And that ends the inning. Orioles get a run thanks to the long ball. We played three full. It's now 2 0 Baltimore. New inning set to get underway, and that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Aye. Fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. The 1 2 is looked at for ball number 2. Two balls, two strikes. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. Hey, throwing the ball great up into this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Fouled off. Ah. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Riding in for Boston, Jesus Aguilar. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. The windup and the 0-1. That's a ball. Come on, what are you doing? No runs, four hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. to one and two now. Now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. Tried to fool him with the change up but he won't offer at it three and two. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Smith is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. The center field, number five. Now at the plate, Kevin, Kevin Pillar, a base Pilar. hit in his first trip. Here it comes. Swing and a liner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Throw into second. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we can say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Into the box, Christian Vasquez. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far.
Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me, or is he going to come in the strike zone? The 1 1. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Not much you could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. No runs, five hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Popped him up. Iglesias is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Danger averted following the two out double. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right, Heidi, thank you. Stepping up now, Rio Ruiz. He drew a walk his first time up. One of the keys to securing the win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Nope, outside. Ball, that's out. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him this first time up, and now they're nibbling again. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and oh. Kind of frustrating as a pitcher when you start an inning off with three straight balls like he has here in the fourth. Makes you start wondering what's going on. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3-1. and one. Pulled high in the air out to right field. On the move is Pilar. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now batting, Austin Hayes. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. That's by him for strike one. And it's one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now the 1 0. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Outside, 3-0 now. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. No doubt, he's clearly fighting his mechanics. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. So digging in now, Pedro Severino looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Two out with the man at first. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Come on. 
sent in the air out to straightaway central. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One left for the Orioles, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And one thing he mentioned is how well they're doing it, simply putting the ball in play. They currently have more than one hit per inning, and looking at strikeouts, they only have two. So far, the recipe for success has been to make contact early and often. Thank you, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And set to go is the second baseman, Michael Chavis. Michael. Here comes the first pitch. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. The wind up and the 0 1. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. Sent on the ground out to second. He's right there. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Michael Brantley. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's the pitch. Iglesias now, it's short. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Ready once again, Alex Verdugo. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. And a curveball drops in there for strike one. Like that pitch there, lefty on lefty matchup. Curveball away to a lefty, smart pitch. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. Two out, nobody on. Still one and two. Here it comes. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. He stays alive, still two and two. Soft liner towards first, but an easy play over at first to glove it, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They're down two to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And set to go is the veteran first baseman, Chris Davis. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Back at it is Sanchez as he moves ahead of the leadoff man here. Nothing in one. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. The 1 1 home. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Under it now is Brantley, and he has it for the first out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jose Iglesias. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First offering on its way. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. Sanchez coming up on pitch number 71 so far. 
Line to short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Super play right there from the shortstop. Talk about showing off those hops. This was destined to be a base hit into the outfield. Digging in once again, Dwight Smith Jr., a hit and two tries for him so far. Goes to show you how strong this guy is. That wasn't a bad breaking ball that he hit for a home run in that last at bat. That ball was down and away. He went out and hooked it and pulled it. This guy's definitely a good hitter. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're up two to nothing. half of the sixth about to get started and digging in is the veteran D.H. J.D. Martinez. First offering on its way. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far but it's going to be tested here four five and six coming up this part of the lineup. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Now the one and one pitch. He swung on and missed for strike number two. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even a two and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now that. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Ooh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys. Curveball right down the middle of the plate. And for him to take that pitch looking, he had to be sitting on something else. But he should have pulled the trigger. And that misses one and one. Every ball club has that spark plug guy. And this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Change up taken for ball three, well below the zone. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch to contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Hayes is camped under this one. Two gone. Here now is Rafael Devers. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. Ball two. two and oh. You'd never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Nice. 
He's fallen behind now, three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder Trey Mancini. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Low with the splitter. Ball one. Count one and oh. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Brantley is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Anthony. Anthony Santander. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Love the ability to push that ball the other way right there. Oh, nice knock to the opposite field. That's a switch hitter's delight. The ability to use all parts. Rio Ruiz to the plate now. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. The 1 0. This is hit the other way out toward left field. After it is Brantley. He makes the running play. Two down. So striding forward now, Austin Hayes. He's one for two in the ball game. From the stretch. And that's in there for strike one. A runner on first with two away. Oh, and that is right there for strike two. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And Brantley will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Orioles leave one as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. Dylan Tate is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 55, Dylan. All set for the start of the inning, and here comes the first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. The first starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Now the 1 0. -oh. 
Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hit hard up the middle. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his oh, first hit of the right. game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. Kept the front shoulder tough, he kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, D Row, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through. Strike one to start the at bat. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. A toss behind the back. Throw to first is in time for the first down. And you know, guys, if this bat doesn't break, it's probably a double play ball, but that just wasn't happening here. Good job to make sure of one, though. Runner at second, one away, and from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. First delivery to him on the way. Owen won the count. A one and one count now to Vasquez. And it's fouled away. The one two. Ball next in. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Vasquez is retired, two down now. Good pitch there, and that was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the play first after the ball hit the dirt. So coming to the plate, Michael Chavis, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's set, here it comes. Outside with the fastball, that's 1-0. Movement in the Orioles bullpen now as they've got a left hander up and throwing. One oh count here it is. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. A ball and two strikes now. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And the throw to first ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Orioles are on top, two to nothing. Chaz Rowe gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 52, Chaz Rowe. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Pat Valaika. For the Orioles, the second baseman, Pat Valaika. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. One out. Now the 1-0. Two balls. 
you know, sometimes it takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going, but those two pitches weren't even close. Falls behind in the count, 2-0. and oh, It's time to start getting locked in. Now the 2-0. -oh. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Brantley going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. The 0 1 pitch. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. That's back to back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. On the ground to the left side. And there are two away now. Here's Chris Davis now. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. One and one the count to Chris Davis. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Gets a good piece of it there but this is foul off toward the third base coaching box. The one two. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. But they hold a 2 nothing lead. Michael Givens has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 60. Here's Michael Brantley. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. The pitch. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Looking up is the right fielder into the flag court and gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. As they cut the lead in half, it's two to one now. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat, being shut out all game, but not anymore. The right fielder, number 99, 
to the plate now Alex Verdugo as he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one he's hitless in three at bats to this point. He's ready here's the 0 1 fly ball out to straight away left Smith is there and he'll bring this one in. Late now is the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Yep, that ball went out. One out, nobody on. On a great pitch there caught him reaching it's one and one. And they'll turn to the slider here and it just misses two and one now. Here's the pitch. And that misses up and in three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Smith is over to his right and he puts this one away for out number two. Now that. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Now here it comes. The 1 0. Line to the right side. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. So the two out base hit in the top of the inning is still alive. Now that outside of home runs, nothing fires me up more than watching a good baseball player drive the ball at the opposite field. Talking about hitting the inside half of the baseball, that's exactly what happened right there. And when we say inside half of the baseball, imagine the ball coming to a complete stop halfway between home plate and the pitcher's mound. And then cutting that baseball in half and highlighting the inside half. That's where you're trying to take the knob of your bat or the hands to that spot and carve the inside half of the baseball with power. The 1 0 home. And he fouls this one off. The 1 1 home. Two balls, one strike. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. The 2 1 home. Bogarns takes off. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Got him to go after the change there, and that'll run things full three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup or do you stay with the heater? There's ball four. Well, it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind. He had him 3-2, and two, but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit. So we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him. Digging in and looking for more, Jesus Aguilar, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. One and oh, here it is. Right. 
swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. Red Sox settle for just the one home half of the eighth straight ahead. It's the Orioles two and the Red Sox one. Matt Barnes is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Matt Barnes. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the shortstop Jose Iglesias. First offering on its way. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. And the 0-2 popped up. And that's a base hit. So a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. Into the box now. Dwight Smith Jr. He grounds it sharply to third. There's one. On to first, a double play. Now batting. The right field. Now at the plate, Trey Mancini. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. He's set and the pitch. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Fastball misses away here. It's 2 and 0. Oh. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Got to love a reliever that comes in firing bullets, and his fastball is a good one. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, he was staring at his last at bat right there, probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never, and I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A-B of this game, so if I'm going to keep this streak alive, going to have to do it right now. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Anthony Santander is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. And, oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Swing and a miss strike two. And a fastball swung on and missed and the side is retired. 
One left for the Orioles as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Paul Fry comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 51. Set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. Listen, it's not easy coming back off of closers, but this guy hasn't been super dependable so far this season, and he's blown several saves up to this point. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. 0 oh, 1, here's the pitch. No. Fry, a native of the state of Michigan. He was a 17th round pick back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Fouled away. The one two. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second, just because he took the first one, that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. That's off the end of the bat foul and he might have been fortunate to stay alive that time. Still hanging with him another good swing to keep it going. I know the fans love the souvenirs but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. Now the three and two pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. And that at bat will put a smile on any manager's now face. Bat. The pitch That's total of the opposing pitcher just keeps going higher and higher. And he still couldn't put him away. So this inning is off to a good start for the guys carrying the sticks. Stepping in, Christian Vasquez. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. As a look, now the pitch. Nope, ball one. Now the 1 0. Ball two. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. He's got it. The second for one. Back to first, a ninth inning double play, and they're an out away from closing this one out. Oh, man, that's just a backbreaker right there. You get the leadoff man to start the ninth, and you're looking pretty good, right? Not when the next guy bounces into a double play. We'll see if they can get the final out and wrap this thing up. Base is empty now after the double play. And standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Michael Chavis. First pitch coming, here it is. Inside, ball one. Come on, we'll open your eyes. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Ball. Not yeah. close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2 0, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom of the order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. All even now, 2 and 2. Not the largest crowd ever, but they're on their feet. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. 
Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate. In a one-run game, he doesn't want to walk it, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. Last strike now for the Red Sox. Popped him up. And he'll make the catch, and the Orioles have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. Excellent work putting the finishing touches on this one. Picking up save number 30 now on the year. Nice job from him. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. The Orioles took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. John Means earns his fifth winner of the year. Anibal Sanchez pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Paul Fry wraps it up for the save, his 30th. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB.